What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And in this video, we're going to look at the entire Cosmic Energy set. So that's right, it's going to be a full set review. Another sad note though, the final set. There's going to be a lot of final things this month. In terms of episodes, and just MAA content in general. But as a fan of this game, I just want to go out celebrating. And this set, by the way, is something that should be celebrated, though it's going to be short-lived. It starts off solid right away with the Terminating Javelin, set piece 104. It's a melee slashing energy attack that has deadly crits and high crits, a great combination. And it's going to exploit cosmic debuffs and follows up after the Cosmic Decimator, as long as you have any other cosmic energy set piece. Well, obviously, if you're using the Cosmic Decimator, you have another piece of the set. So basically, it's going to be a free attack, as long as you use the Decimator first. And it does some solid damage. Now, for the next piece of the set, it's the Radiant Shield. This is an AoE buff, and it grants all allies Radiant Shield. The Shield effect absorbs incoming damage, significantly reduces damage taken. And emphasis on significantly, that's no joke. But that's not all, it prevents debuffs while active. Oh, and by the way, with any other piece of the Cosmic Energy set, it becomes a free action. So incredible. Having a free action, first of all, makes for a perfect build. And this one gives you a lot. So for the third piece of the set, we're going to see the Cosmic Decimator. This causes Cosmic Fury to one enemy. Increases damage taken by 5% every time this character is attacked. And I don't know what this stacks to, but it definitely is going to build up. Then it has a chance to interrupt single target attacks and grant an extra turn with any other cosmic energy set piece equipped. An interrupt and an extra turn for your agent? That's yet another awesome piece. And remember, you'll follow up with the terminating javelin after you attack with this. Not the interrupt, but when you're using a normal attack. So the only thing the set was missing is a quick action. And yes, the Cosmic Queller will be a quick action. It's going to originally apply energy suppression so it prevents most energy resistances and reductions from functioning. Then with another piece of the set, it applies Cosmic Glow and Burn. So a really nice AoE debuff here. The set fits together perfectly in my opinion, and goes very well with the theme of the Spec Op and of course Adam Warlock. But in this one, we're going to use Ronin and Philo Vell, because we're not quite ready for Adam Warlock's first PvP look. Though that is coming soon. Don't worry, we'll use this set with him as well. But this team up is definitely going to do its job. I've already used them together a bit, and they definitely seem to win the majority of their matches, hands down. So this is kind of a look at Philo Vell, but she's going to get her own video as well. White Tiger, Adam Warlock are all going to get their own video. And then we'll look at Ronin again too. Now here you saw the Cosmic Decimator actually try to interrupt, but unfortunately Spitfire cannot be interrupted. Still though, you saw it does kick in quite a bit. We already got a proc. The good part is, we do get an extra turn right now. Against other characters that would have also interrupted them. But at least it allows us to use our Radiant Shield. Then we can pull out the Cosmic Queller and debuff the enemy team with a quick action. Here you see Cosmic Glow and Cosmic Burn up close. Very nice new debuffs that are available to us. Like I said, the upcoming season would have been amazing, and I wish we had one more. Or an infinite amount, but I take one more right now. So there goes Cosmic Queller, and now of course we want to use the Decimator. Once we attack with that, we should get the follow up with the Terminating Javelin. And look at this damage. Oh, unfortunately, the enemy agent reflects it. But hey, we still get the follow-up attack. So that is nice to see. That's something that you'll notice with this set. Even if they interrupt you with their decimator, or reflect or so on, you still will hit with the javelin. Just something nice to know, and I'm glad it works like that. Now, on Ronin's turn, I'm always tempted to use Universal Charge. And in this case, we actually are going to use it right now. Then we'll follow it up with a Sudden Judgment. Already, this attack does great damage to the entire enemy team. 
And they're all pretty close to being knocked out. So yeah, let's see what the enemy agent's going to do. It'll be a blackest void. And then it's time for Phyla Vell to shine. So I'll start by using her quick action. I'll teach you pain. This is an incredible AoE debuff move, and I believe I put the lethal A-ISO on it to add despair as well. So we're getting a lot from a quick action. This is also a great setup move for her level 9, which can do crazy amounts of damage. I don't know if we'll see it here, but I'll definitely have some big hits when we take our look at her. For now though, does look like she's going to do knockout damage. So Pray to Your Gods does almost 22k and Cloak and Dagger are down. At that point, she's definitely done her job. So on my agent's turn, we'll just go ahead and recharge. And Spitfire is actually going to go down to her dots. With the enemy agent close to being knocked out, we're going to use the Hammer Smash to end it. So there it goes. Not a bad first look. But we're going to go ahead and try this set out one more time. And we'll see what this opponent looks like. Now for our second and final opponent, we're facing a fairly high health Kiana Reeves, Cloak and Dagger, and Null team. It's somewhat fortunate that we do get to start with Phylovel because we can use I'll Teach You Pain. Okay, and then Ronin procs his own extra turn. So I'll use Short Fuse. And then I'm thinking of debuffing the enemies. Well, it's either that or Universal Charge, of course. But we actually are going to use Universal Charge because I thought maybe Phylovel could one-shot someone. These guys, though, apparently have insane defense. And we're not even going to get close. So I'll just use our Death's Plunge, and we follow it up with the Death's Edge. So maybe we won't get the flashy first big hit knockout in this one. But I think it's okay because we're actually looking at the set anyways. So yeah, we'll look at it from the bright side. Even with Ronin, we're going to use You Stand Accused, and then just let the enemy agent do his thing. Well, he has a Dark Energy Blade as well, which does bother me. But on my agent's turn, we'll use our free action, the Radiant Shield. Then, the Cosmic Queller. And you know we're going to use the Decimator next. So let's hope it lands. And it does, and there's some big damage. This set is no joke, it can definitely dish it out. The follow-up attack almost knocks him out. So just a little bit more damage. And, well with Phylovel, we're going to spread the damage around and actually go after Null. At this point, as you can see, the entire enemy team is very close to being knocked out. And I was kind of hoping to finish someone off by using our Death Plunge. So ultimately, we do go after the enemy agent. That apparently was a big mistake. Let me just cut in, when watching this back and editing, I guess it just caught me off guard that they had a protect agent with intangibility. I did not pay attention to that. So yeah, wasted attack. Now after Cloak and Dagger proc their back for more, we're basically just waiting on that to kick in. I do try a hammer smash, but... They're going to stick around, of course. So we'll recharge with Ronin, getting back stamina. The evil enemy agent finally does go down. And then, with my agent... Well, we're not going to do too much, just a smothering shadow, and that's the end of his turn. Cloak and Dagger, of course, are going to go back to full health, and we'll have to start all over again on them. I mean, they have no chance of winning, so that's the good news, but... They are such a nuisance. Martyr has to recharge, so on Ronin's two turns. Well, we can go ahead and use our short fuse again. Probably didn't need to do that. But then we'll attack with a hammer smash. And as a last action, well, let's see the ability we haven't seen yet. Cosmic Wave. On my agent's turn, I'm just hoping to do some big damage with the Cosmic Energy set. And if we got a finish, that would be perfect. So once again, we'll use the Cosmic Queller. Then we're going to attack with the Decimator. You know, another pet peeve of mine is sitting through all the preemptive counters from Cloak and Dagger. 
I mean, come on, get on with it already. Our final attack should be the Cosmic Decimator, followed by the Terminating Javelin. And we even do get another Brawl. So yeah, you'll actually follow up after the Javelin. In this case, we did need Near Fatal to kick in, but still. It technically was a finish with the Cosmic Energy set. So I'm pretty happy with that. For those of you who have the set, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. For me, it gets two thumbs up. A set that works very well together, has a free action and a quick action, plus deals a lot of damage. Oh, and I suppose I should also mention an interrupt and an extra turn. What's not to like? But that is going to be it for this one, so I want to thank you all for watching, ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.